Hopefully get that load kicked off fairly fast. And goes without a hiccup. Looks like we gotta do some detouring too because Highway 151, which is like the main road to get there, is closed. Backroads driving, which is all right. Wisconsin roads aren't the smoothest, but we'll get it done. All right, guys, get on down that road. But I don't think we're going to stay very clean over here. It's a freaking mud pit. This sucks. I think I'm going to have to just fold the tarp on the trailer. Because I'm not going to get that tarp that filthy. This, this is just nasty. Uh, we're going to try to stay as clean as possible. Plus it's raining off and on. So that's fun too. You guys see how soupy it is here? It's just amazing. Come wash my truck. that and we're ready to get unloaded so hopefully that guy shows up that's just that was fun luckily I found the dry spot over there to roll my tarp up load road are good all the way over here no issues That's all she wrote. Let's go uh, I'm gonna kick the tires real quick. Make sure he didn't run over something over here. Change out of my boots. I'm back out of here and go very slow. 
So hopefully we don't get our truck filthy. But one load down. Let's keep making that money. got our paperwork so we'll just go down there and do what they told us to do which is we're gonna go down that way and turn around and face the other way and they're gonna throw these pumps on our trailer and make like ducks and get the flock out of here here's our load four of these bad boys Not bad. Oh, it's turbocharged. Damn, that's awesome. Oh, look at this little, it's a little diesel motor. It's got, it's common rail. That thing's badass. Right there, that's the good stuff. You know, this thing's gotta be working some hard hours with the turbo on it.
and we're loaded. Hopefully these things stay. These J-hooks are kind of a pain in the ass. Chilling there. Peekaboo precious. <laughs> Took a nice hot shower. It's very relaxing. Now it's time to go do some more work. Let's go truck some more. No rest. Keep on trucking and then and then and then and then. Our new load's doing pretty good so far. Damn, anybody want them wheels? Them reams? Them 20s though. Nah, they 10s, but they clean. Well, it's about 18,000 pounds. Not bad. Nice and light and easy and no tarp. Chains. This guy was giving me trouble earlier, but that's the nice thing about these. Ratchets. Just come down there and push on it a little bit. Click, 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 click. A couple times back and forth, you know, and tighten it up. The snap binders, you gotta undo everything, which I only have six of those, and I got like four or six of those. So these will ride. But the snap binders are staying nice and tight. Everything is staying nice and tight. So. Truck's filthy though, look at it. From all that mud. I'm gonna go try to find a truck lodge here somewhere. And see if I can get one today. If not, then we'll swing through one tomorrow. All right, let's cover some more miles. Make some miles. Be 
nice to maybe make it make it to Western Iowa or somewhere past Omaha. That, past Omaha, I, I think that, but it's already, well, it's like six o'clock here, so four o'clock my time. Yeah, we probably do that. that time of the night where you're looking up over that hood and that sun's just sitting just right it makes you feel like a total badass sitting over that damn hood ornament you guys that drive trucks know what i'm talking about man well we made it here to console bluffs and i think we're gonna call it a night I'll tell you one thing though, um, I'm definitely getting old because I used to be hammered down till 2, 3 in the morning, of course, per hours of service regulation, um, I just go, but I'm tired. It was a long day today with un unloading and loading and everything, and I mean, drove what, 500 something miles on top of that? I'm perfect, I'm good. From here, we got a good two day drive, so we'll make it up. Legally, of course. No, I'm not even joking. Legally. I don't like running illegal. That's not cool. No. So, we're gonna go to bed here. Uh, I think the load's still riding good. We can walk around it check it out but I gotta go to the bathroom I gotta go take a bath probably one of the main reasons why I stopped here I think it's okay so far yeah look at that it's like some poor bug has got splattered all over my binder this guy's good. This guy's good. This guy's good. This guy's awkward though. He wants to constantly stay up. This guy's good. This guy's good. this guy it's good I like this kind of loads it's more fun than throwing straps when you get to use your chains but I'm gonna go use the bath for them so with that all being said I'm gonna go to bed and I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow. We're going to do some trucking. I'll probably get, uh, well, obviously we're going to do some trucking across Nebraska and Wyoming and stuff. And then um, we need to get this truck washed. So um, I think there's a Blue Beacon in Council Bluffs, or if not, there's one in New York. So either one of those will work. But it's begging for a truck wash. And I don't think it's going to rain anymore. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you liked today's video, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up, hop in my car in the giddy up. Get up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up, hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up. So, when Martin's away, I get to tend to the house. 
which uh, most trucker wives, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, today's task is I'm cleaning our above ground pool. Uh, the pump went out on it, so it's kind of nasty. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it up. I got a cleaning vacuum, and uh, I'm gonna drain it afterwards because we're gonna actually move it up closer to the house. It's kind of a pain in the butt where it's at, and um, get it moved up closer to the house. And I figured, well, I might as well start that process while Martin's gone, and then that way when he gets here. It's ready to go for him to help me get it up here on the upper level. So that's what I'm doing today. You guys see what I'm talking about there? Pretty gross. So I got a broom. We're just going to try to brush the stuff off the sides and then Everything that is left over, we're gonna vacuum up. Wish me luck. 